Hello and welcome back on my channel. In this video, I'm take a, taking a look at this uh, Sadelta microphone, which uh, I have since uh, since when I was quite young, probably 15 years old or even less. Um, one of the uh, gentlemen I used to talk to on the CB band. Uh, remember, he gave me this uh, microphone. Obviously, he already passed away, but anyway, yeah. this plus uh, other two microphones, three in total, uh, which uh, were used with uh, CB radios. And two are handy mics, and one is a table mic. So I don't know if the microphone is working and um, so the first uh, check I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try and find the schematic but it uh, should be really should be quite simple. It's uh, a pre-amplified microphone it runs on a 9 volts battery and um, yeah I'm gonna open it take a look and uh, I'll try it with my uh, CB radio. I couldn't find a, a schematic diagram on the internet. I just found some pictures. And uh, apparently, uh, um, the two models um, are one um, MP2, shares the same uh, board, which is uh, quite simple, just a few components. And um, I see this uh, capacitor here it was uh, suspect to me also for for the positioning and for the solderings so by the pictures i found there is no capacitor here and is in parallel is in parallel with this capacitor here on this side i'm gonna take it out to leave it uh in original in an original shape I'm gonna reflow this soldering now for the uh, original ceramic capacitor. I'm gonna take this plot of solder out and give it a clean Okay, here I have finished cleaning the board and uh, I also have uh, moved a, uh, a wire, a green wire, which I have noticed that uh, it, was, uh, it was going to uh, the uh, soldering side of the board instead of uh, like all the other ones. You can see it here. And that was a modification that was done in the past. I don't know if, uh, if I did it or... I don't think so. I don't remember. Anyway, that was, uh, as far as I understood, understand, is uh, done for providing uh, eight volts to uh, to the uh, amplifier, which is on the uh, on the board, uh, instead of using the nine volt battery. But I'm happy in 
putting this microphone back to its original uh, condition so uh, 9 volt battery will be used and uh, the uh, green wire went to its original place I also have free flown some uh, solder joints this is the uh, new 9 volt battery here you can see on this side the um, the green wire back uh, in uh, its original place it's easy to understand that all the wires are in, uh, in the same place on the board also I've opened the uh, connector this is a 4 pin connector and uh, I uh, readjusted the uh, wirings for my CB radio uh, I think it was pin uh, number 3 was the uh, shield, the ground and anyway, uh, 2 and 3 uh, are connected for the uh, uh, speaker and 1 and 4 are for the uh, microphone input to the radio now put the uh, board uh, back in place and I uh, close the microphone uh, ready for uh, the first test Okay, yeah, let's uh, check now uh, how it sounds. I'm gonna transmit with my Intec radio on channel 20, the citizen band, which is 27205. And uh, I'm gonna receive myself through uh, the 991 alpha through the speaker. I put the microphone close to the speaker, uh, even though this is not a great speaker, but uh, maybe we can get an idea. Filter here in reception is nine kilohertz. So I have now the uh, dynamic microphone connected and I'm gonna try and uh, talk, have a sample of this microphone and then I swap microphone and see the other one. Test, test. One, two, three. One, two, three, test, test. One, two, three. This is the uh, dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphone. Intec 548 Sierra X-ray. Dynamic microphone one, two, three, four, five. Test. Prova, prova, uno, due, tre, prova, prova, sa delta, I am B2, test, test, sa delta, I am Mike, Papa, two, test. Test one, two, three, four, five. Test crisp and clear. One, two, three. One, two, three. Test, 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 test. One, two, three, four, five. Test crisp and clear. 